Tonight on Anglia News. A band whose record, released in the 60s, has become a collector's item. When we made it, we couldn't give them away. You know, we, we just couldn't give them away. Three-year-old record collection, and if amongst the Elvises, Osmonds and Olivia Newton-Johns, a dark LP comes to light, you're in luck. Yes, although the group from Northamptonshire disbanded 20 years ago, their vinyl is worth a small fortune. Dark are delighted and have regrouped, as Penny Wright reports. The hair may be a little greyer, the face is a little more wrinkled, but the music is unmistakably the same. This is the sound that got dark to the edge of the big time before they split up in the early 70s, when at their high point they backed status quo. We all went our separate ways. Um, some of us played in various bands along the, the way. Um, nothing special, just middle of the road, club gigging type sort of thing. Uh, until this uh, interest in the old album reared its head and we decided to get back together to reform the original Dark. But now success is revisiting Dark with the surprise popularity of their album of 1972 called Dark Round the Edges. It's become a collector's item and can change hands for up to £2,500. The first album was made in 1972 and that's the really collectible one. Why is that? It it's because uh, it was a limited run album and when we made it we couldn't give them away. Well, I think there's two reasons in this case. The music is a progressive hard rock which is quite sought after these days as a style and also there are very few copies around. They only made about 85 copies. As soon as collectors realised that there weren't very many copies around they liked the exclusivity of it and so the price went up for those particular records. So the Northamptonshire-based lads who split a quarter of a century ago because they were going nowhere to go on to have families and regular jobs now find themselves drawn back into the rock world. And I look around with the lads of 16 and 15 and they think it's pretty sad. They, think they see their old man going back out again and playing the guitar. They think it's pretty sad but what I would say is um, bands like Oasis, Cooler Shaker, well they're the best thing since sliced bread but we're the sliced bread. Well when we first heard it was valuable. I mean obviously we, we thought it was a bit of a joke and we thought we were being wound up but uh, the callers were persistent and we realised that they were genuine and it was worth a lot of money. So we uh, found each other and said, let's have a meeting. Let's uh, see what it's all about. Um, we decided then to uh, get back together and just for the fun of it, see if we could do a second album that would be as good. Now they plan to stage a series of gigs to celebrate their success and launch their latest CD. Well, technology has changed a lot since their first time round. And they can only wonder what might have been if they hadn't split up. Dark, back in the limelight again.